Hi, this is Michael Reardon with Reardon Yacht Consulting. Today I've got Captain David Laird with me and we're going to be talking about what is yacht management? We're here talking about what yacht, yacht management is. And for me, as someone that does it day to day, there's sort of a laundry list of things that include finance, uh, crew, operations, and safety stuff. But I wanna ask Captain David, from your perspective, working with a few management companies and dealing with the day to day, what is it for you? Uh, a management company for me is definitely uh, a partnership between the vessel, mm -hmm the captain, the owner, and, and the office of the management company. Would you explain to us how you perceive the hierarchy and the, the working together goes? Sure, for um, the hierarchy for management with the owner and for the captain and crew, for me, best way I would put it together would be, they would be kind of all in a triangle. You'd have obviously the owner at the top, but also in that triangle, you would have the management company, and you'd also have the captain and the crew. Those can flip-flop. Obviously, you always have the owner at the top. He's right. the boss, right? Right. Um, but you also have, depending on the situation, what's going on, you could have uh, more interaction directly with the owner and the yacht management company, or sometimes it's, it's first with the yacht captain crew and then the management company. Yeah. It just depends. It's all in the same, it's the same, it's the same team. Exactly. A lot of times, and I think more specifically, when the owner's aboard and enjoying the boat wherever, He's on the boat where everybody's job is to take care of him, sure. but it's you guys, and especially you, talking to the owner, interacting. So there's yeah. a lot of communication and teamwork going on there. We're more of a supporting role, but then sometimes when the boat's here, big refits, budgeting, sure. year-end reporting, and stuff like that, yeah. we kind of step in and maybe take more of a lead and administrative role and things like that. Sure. And we've kind of walked through all those things together. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, very good. Much so. What's your perception of what owners see the yacht manager doing? Because it's different from what you oh, yeah. and I did working together. No, I, I think most owners, um, especially, especially like their first time working with a management company, first time, I think they'll realize the value with the management company in the sense that they can assist and basically um, take away many, many of the concerns, headaches that an owner might have on yeah. their part. Yeah. Um, especially when you marry um, the right owner, the right management company with the right captain and crew, you've got a really good scenario there for a professionally run yacht. Yeah, and it's interesting <laughs> because it does take a certain uh, learning what everybody's roles are and who communicates with yes. Who, how much in each owner there's a little bit of a different uh, chemistry Very and, so. and uh, so yeah so the other thing we'd like to talk about is just like a day in the life what is it like uh, working with a management company and give us a couple examples of really stuff that goes on in working with us or another yacht management company that you've experienced sure um, so your typical day-to-day -day would be uh, I would rely on the management company for I mean, the basics, cash, uh, making sure helping us get our, our vendors paid. Yeah. Um, sometimes just uh, allowing us to sh have our mail shipped to their address and picking stuff up. Right. Uh, sometimes it's shipping boxes to us where the vessel is, whether it be in the Caribbean, Bahamas, the mail. Sure. Um, that's your day-to-day -day stuff that we see more, um, more often. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, we have to, there are more serious uh, reasons to get involved or our communications. Uh, for example, I've had crew members hurt at sea before. Um, that's when we rely on you guys to, uh, to take that phone call and mm -hmm. to help us out with whatever we need, whether it be uh, if it's an evac you know, evacuation for the person or if it's a little less serious, it could be just uh, getting the medical care that they need, right. uh, notifying the authorities, uh, right. helping us with you know, with the family, uh, yeah. their family, also with... Um, uh, Overlaps a lot of times in insurance yep, and insurance even... Companies, uh, yes. and notifying all the authorities that need to be possibly the flag. Yeah, all yeah. That, so, yes. And then the follow-up also is persons injured, they can or can't return to work. Sometimes they yeah. can't. And then there's everything from housing, feeding, yeah. uh, temporary disability, the insurance claims. So, yeah, yeah those are great examples. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for 
Thank you. Uh, that and for uh, joining us today. My pleasure. And uh, that's a little bit of what yacht management is like.